bang you over the head with the message of how the church has mangled people and stuff like that. Yes, that's a small part of it, but there's also a, a great sense of uh, hope and faith and love. The film is about love. And maybe the absence of my father and the, yet the sense of a close family that fed into Evelyn and the writing of it because I understood the pain of separation and the strength of family and how terrible it would be to be split up from your parent or your siblings. And hopefully that fed into the script. And my father to me was always a kind of hero despite his absence because he was a firefighter, decorated for bravery. And maybe I projected that desire for the heroic father onto Desmond Doyle. Mr. Doyle, you shouldn't be on these premises. I've come for my daughter. I must ask you to leave I'm immediately. I'm not leaving without her. You know that is impossible. I'm having my daughter back and you can't stop me. Now, where is she? Mr. Doyle, you cannot just barge in here. There's no bloody laws daughter. in this country that's going to keep my daughter away from me. How dare you use language like that in front of me, Mr. Doyle? Don't speak to me like that. I will not have it. Daddy, don't fight, Daddy. Don't fight with Sister Teresa. It's all right, love. Don't worry. I see you. Not if you're going to run off with her, Mr. Doyle. That'll just get you arrested. Okay, okay, I promise. I just want to hold her for a second. I'll give you my word, all right? Evelyn, your daddy's here to see you. It's so good to see you. Daddy, have you come to take me home? We had a big reading with Irish actors and, and Pierce read the part of Desmond and was so wonderful. And maybe it was time for him to play that side, that more vulnerable, that more real, down-to-earth person that he really is, and it just fit, it worked. I'm a father, I have five kids. I know what it's like to be a father. I know what it's like to be alone as a child. I know what it's like to be brought up by the nuns, the Christian brothers. I know what it's like to be under the yoke of the church, so to speak. But I also know the celebration of the church and the faith and the goodness. So I think this film has that. And I can only hope and wish that more films were made in this vein for the comfort of people's hearts and the joy and the celebration of us as human beings. The beauty of Paul uh, Pender and Bruce Beresford is because it's a rare occasion to have a director who actually, you know, truly cares about the writing and to have a writer who doesn't say, okay, I wrote that one, I'm off to Hollywood to write the other one. You know, that he's actually there on the set and writing and working and allowing us as actors to make the lines human. I think they liked each other very much. Mm. But the thing you have to note about this writer is that it's, so there's only the one writer. Just, you know, ultimately it became Bruce and Paul, so that we didn't have to swap him out. He was good enough to make it all the way to the finish line, which is really rare. You're the lucky one, so I've been told. As free as the wind blowing down the road. Loved by many, hated by none. I'd say you were lucky, because I know what you've done. Not a care in the world, not a worry inside. Everything's gonna be all right, cause you're the lucky one. Jeremiah. Oh, Paul, nice to meet you. Movie making requires hard work and good fortune. And it definitely helps when you feel somebody up there likes the script. Kaylee and I went off on our honeymoon. We went down to the Exumas string of islands, ribbon necklace of islands in the middle of nowhere, really. It was just us and the kids, and we'd drop anchor each day, and we'd go into little islands, empty, empty, tiny atolls. And there was one beach that we fell in love with. And it was only after going there maybe three or four times uh, because the kids could play and there was no one around. And anyway, the beach was called Evelyn's Beach. <laughs> we walked down to the end one day and there was, a, there was a sign, Evelyn's Beach, as each beach was called by its own name. So, I don't know, you take these as little kind of emblems in life, signposts, and you think, hmm, yes, I'm on the right course. Being superstitious and Catholic upbringing and all that. Yeah, there are many.